Hey guys, uh, this is a little behind the scenes video because today we are out here about to run Red Cone, which is one of the uh, more challenging and spectacular trails, but we've got something unique, Tommy. Yeah, so Land Rover of Denver lent us their Defender 110 and they said, go drive it in the dirt. And if it breaks, it breaks. And there's- Wait, wait, I'm not sure they said if okay, it breaks. Okay, they never quite said all that. Right, all right, never said that part. But you'll never find another dealer in the whole US that will let you play with their new Defender on some pretty tricky terrain today. So we've got the Defender and we've got a Gladiator and we've got an old Defender, a 90, and even a 4Runner. And we're out here on some trails seeing what is what. Yeah, but first, before we even get to these other vehicles, let's talk about the matchup, right? Because we've got, well, a competition that goes back decades, right? We've got Land Rover versus Jeep. So Jeep, of course, was first, but then not that far behind them was Land Rover with their off-roader. Yeah, but Land Rover's been out of the Defender scene here in the U.S. for 23 years now, Yeah. right? And it, they've been making a lot of cool stuff, but no Defenders. So it's a big year this year because we've got Defender. Of course, Jeep is out with the Gladiator. They've got the JL Wranglers as well. Um, and it's two very different philosophies, you know, solid axle, body on frame, V6, independent suspension, air suspension, straight six, forced induction. So pretty, pretty different philosophies. Yeah, and I think the biggest difference between these two, of course, is the fact that uh, that one has a locking center, front, and rear diff, whereas this one has a locking center diff and then terrain management, which kind of is the new way of figuring out where to send power. Basically, it says that I'm smarter than you and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna make this trail happen. So we're gonna kind of see the two different philosophies in action today. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just, just have some fun out here. Yeah, and so guys, we'll be posting this video to TFL Car uh, very shortly, as soon as we get it edited. And if you're curious, uh, let me know in the comments below which one you think will do a better job. But before you think to yourselves, that is a lifted Jeep on what, 33s? 35. 35s. This is also a lifted Land Rover. Why don't you show them? Check it out. Uh, it's got something called uh, Johnson rods uh, because this has air suspension. It's got these little rods that uh, you can uh, replace with the OEM ones that basically fake the vehicle into thinking it's on its on-road height when it's in its off-road height. And uh, it's a really easy and much more inexpensive way to lift the vehicle than, well, when you have to get different shocks and Oh, look at that. And they're also running KO2s on this too. So uh, clearly, <laughs> clearly has had some trail use, which I love to see. You're not gonna see a lot of uh, other brand new $70,000 Defenders out there that are hitting the trail. So cool opportunity today. Yeah, and then even to make this better, uh, when we get done running Red Cone, uh, they were kind enough to bring along the original, well, first generation Defender now, right? In the U.S. In yeah. the U.S. Uh, and then a forerunner uh, that will uh, compare to these two. So this is going to be quite the day. So shall we hit the trails? Yeah, let's do it. All right, see you guys. Um, once again, just a little behind the scenes video showing what we're up to.